Hi, I'm Sean. I'm a home cook and foodie from Malaysia. And today, I am making ratatouille. Now, this might shock you, but ratatouille doesn't look like this. It actually looks like this in its early days. So you might ask me, Sean, why does ratatouille on the internet look like this? The answer is simple. You can blame this mouse. Because you clicked on this video, you are automatically forced to go shopping with me. One of the main ingredients we need are tomatoes. And honestly, it was really interesting to see how big and plump tomatoes can get. Like, look at how big this one is, you know? Like, it's almost the size of my fist. I, I, I don't know why the background music just stopped like that. I also found these heirloom tomatoes. They look really pretty. I'm not using them for this recipe, but I might in a future video. The other vegetables I got for the main part of the ratatouille were yellow zucchini, green zucchini, and eggplant. Some people call it aubergine. For the sauce, I'm using bell peppers and whole peeled tomatoes from a can. I wanted to get some basil, but I couldn't find any, so that made me really, really sad. Anyway, let's get started. First, you need to slice your vegetables into thin discs, and this is a very good time to use your man Mandolin. I don't have a mandolin because I'm poor. I'm sure knife skills can help a lot, but trust me, a mandolin is going to save you a lot of time and energy. And it'll deliver a way better looking product at the end because you can slice thinner and the slices will be even. It took me one hour to use my knife to prep all of the vegetables, okay? One hour. Got the message? Huh? Okay? Use a mandolin, huh? I placed the vegetables on a lined baking tray and sprinkled some salt on them to extract their moisture because they will release a lot of water when they bake. And we want to combat that because it will make the ratatouille very watery and the vegetables will be too mushy. Okay, let's make the sauce. A basic ratatouille sauce is made with roasted peppers and tomatoes. You can easily do this in your oven, just set it to max temperature and roast your bell peppers in there for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes, turning them halfway to make sure all of the sides are charred. If you've never done this before, they're going to look burnt on the outside but trust me inside they are not remove the skins from the bell peppers uh, after they are cooled uh, of course okay don't don't be an idiot throw them in a blender with some garlic tomatoes herbs acidity add some sweetness if you want adjust the salt and pepper levels as well and you know that's your sauce now we get to layer the vegetables you can layer it in any order you want okay there really isn't any kitchen gadget or shortcut you can use to make this easier or faster this is probably going to take up 30 minutes of your time so i advise you listen to some music and since we're at this topic right if you're curious since this is a trend right now, I'm listening to Don't Mess With Me While I'm Jellyfishing. Once you're done, you can bake this bad boy at 220 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, I really wanted to do that fancy plating and I needed a ring mold for that. And even though it cost like 4 bucks to get one online, I'm such a f***ing cheapskate that I made my own using some tin foil. This is one of those times when I sound like I know what I'm doing, but I, in actual fact, I have zero idea. This may not be the prettiest dish I've made, but I can assure you that it tastes really, really good. It was a nice challenge and I'll definitely make this again. The recipe will be on my website soon. Follow me on IG, subscribe to the channel, click over here to watch me go cafe hopping at Tea Life Plus, and I will see all of you in my next video. Don't forget to shower.